back. This is we, we used to stand right this there, and they used to have the entrance over there. We would stand right where those cops are. We would throw a, a cross right up against that wall there. It's close. You don't need any of that stuff. God wants you to have a sober 
mind, a sober mind, if God wanted you to smoke marijuana, he would have put a chimney on your neck, you understand? Get ready, people. Excuse me? This is called biblical preaching. It's called shock and awe evangelism. It's called confrontational evangelism. God is angry with the strippers every day. See, I got it right here on my banner. See it right there? I made this banner just for this place. Good. That's an accolade for you. That's an accolade for you. And don't it don't work here. The word was accolade. Accolade. Yeah, I know what that word is. Okay, you asked me what? You asked me what? When are you gonna get right with the Holy God? That's cut. That's cut to the mustard. Honestly? When are you going to get right with the Holy God? <laughs> are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. God, I'm standing in front of a strip club with a bullhorn and a banner. Of course I'm serious. Shame on you. Shame on me. Yes. I don't work here. But you're standing in front of this place cheering yes. on. Has a, has a I'm standing right. here in defense of the gospel, the and you're standing yeah. there in defense yeah. of the strip club. No. Yeah, I'm asking you. That's like right. Don't. And it looks like this is called things. biblical preaching 101. Why the not? Because I'm preaching. I got the front. This is my pulpit. Okay. It's called so. preaching. I'm trying to call sinners to repentance. So why don't you guys go inside? I don't want to go inside. Like why don't you That's the devil's playhouse in there. Yeah. And I don't want to play with the devil. Woo. I didn't come to play with the devil. I, I came to cut the devil down the side. Right down We're going. Don't worry. We're going. We'll be there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we'll be, we'll be there. Don't you know God can see what you're doing? Don't you know the Bible says that you should present your body as a living sacrifice to God, holy and acceptable, which is your reasonable service? So when you take that cigarette and puff it on your mouth, buddy, you're destroying God's temple. Your body is a temple for the Holy Ghost. Is that a special blend there, my man? What, what is a hookah? I don't know what a hookah is, so please explain it to me. You know, smoke something, you smoke the back of one of these tailpipes. What's the difference? You gotta die in it. Is it the nicotine? Okay. The Bible says that the body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Are you gonna pollute your body with smoke? I know you don't care. You don't care about anything but yourself. Me, yeah, me, you're gonna do me, what you're gonna, me, but you're gonna give an account to God one day. You're gonna stand before a holy and righteous God. And get, let me make it real simple. You break the law of man, you go to jail. You break the law of God, you go to hell. Amen. Amen. That's real simple. Don't you know the Lord knew you were gonna be here? Don't you know God is warning you, you better repent? You don't see the, a lot of church people out here, but you see the real preacher, the real deal. Amen. God is beholding the evil and the good. Yes, sir. He's taking account.
unto the Father except through Him. Amen. It is not through uh, your false gods. It is not through false religion. It is not through thinking you're a good person. It's not thinking about all the money you make. It's not thinking about uh, uh, that I'm going to get by and who is God. It's about the blood of Jesus Christ that shed for your sin and time to get to know the God of the Bible through His Son, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, who came, divested Himself to walk among men, to tell men that there is a kingdom of, not of this world, that one day that we will stand and walk in that kingdom. For many of you think, well, preacher, I just don't believe in God. Well, it's not that you don't believe, it's that you won't believe. Because it interferes with your drunkenness, Amen. your perversion, Amen. your hatred, Amen. your murder, Amen. your homosexuality, Amen. your sodomy, Amen. your lesbianism, Amen. your drug abuse, Amen. your internet porn, Amen. your masturbations. Amen. This is what it interferes with, because those things are more pleasurable to you than God. You love your sin. Uh,